In today's Money Watch, a look at the cannabis industry in Illinois. When marijuana was legalized more than three years ago here, state leaders really sold it as a chance to repair the harm done to communities of color hardest hit by the war on drugs. Today, a cannabis company becomes the first social equity manufacturer in the city to open its doors, but they acknowledge more work needs to be done to level the playing field. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar has the story. Before your favorite flavored weed gummy been a lot better. makes it to the dispensary shelf. So this is quality control. This is quality control. They're made in a facility like this. We're in the room where the magic of baked buds happens. Baked buds just cut the ribbon on its new near west side facility. Again, thank you guys for coming out. On the inside, their Canna Works gummies are made. They're the first and only in the city of Chicago. It keeps up the plastic. The company is the first social equity cannabis manufacturer in Chicago. Their gummies will be sold at dispensaries across the area. Victoria Williams is the sales manager. Well, it's a really big deal. You know, we went through an extremist licensing process and it took a very long time to actually get those licenses. Court delays, capital concerns and a whole lot of government red tape has delayed the opening for more than two years. Williams says other social equity applicants aren't as fortunate. The reality of it for me, unfortunately, a lot of people will not open their doors due to funding issues due to access issues. As for the state's efforts towards equity, the $1.5 billion industry still has a long way to go. According to 2022 data, black and Latino majority owned dispensaries made up just 1%, while 88% of dispensaries in Illinois are white majority owned. And despite the roadblocks and challenges to get here, Williams still hopeful that Illinois' cannabis industry will be accessible for everyone. We were the test dummies. Now things are going to start going right. <laughs> Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Charlie.